For long, SharePoint users have wished they could copy site pages easily. Finally, that wish has come true. Copying SharePoint pages can be very helpful when you need to create multiple pages with a similar design or structure. Let's see how you can do that. First, open the page you want to copy. I am going to use the About Us page of the Sales Department site. To copy the page, click on New and select Copy of this page. An identical copy will be created and automatically stored in the Site Page Library. You can soon rename it and edit its content. When you're done editing the page, click on Publish. By clicking on Publish, the file name of the page is updated and you can decide what to do with it. You can, for example, add the page to the navigation, that is, add it as an item to the bar that's always visible on the left-hand side of the site. You can also post the page as news to the site or send out a link to the page via email. If you check out the link to the page, you can see that the name of the page was automatically taken from the heading. And you can copy this link and share it via applications like, for example, Teams or Yammer. Another thing that you can do is to save the page as a template. However, if you want to save the page as a template, there is a quicker way. As usual, first go to the page you want to use and click on Edit. From here, click on the little arrow next to Save as Draft and select Save as Template. You can now insert a name for your template and click on Save Page Template in the upper right corner. My new template contains elements like text, web parts, integration, documents, and some images. Let's see how it looks like when I use the template to create a new page. From the home page, click on New and select Page. SharePoint offers me immediately some templates to choose from and I can find my custom-made templates under Save on this site. By clicking on the template, I can see a preview where the original content is included. To use the template, click on Create Page and then adjust the name and the content of the page as you wish. When you're done, simply click on Publish. If you are interested in knowing how this all works behind the scenes, here is how. When you create a template, it gets stored in a separate folder. You can navigate this folder by going to the site contents and open the site pages library. As soon as you create your first template, a new folder will be automatically added to this library called Templates. From here, you can view all the templates created for the website and you can click on the three dots to see further actions that you can perform on the template. Moreover, you can simply click on the name of the template to open it.